بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سمیرا نظر صاحبہ کوسٹ اینڈ پریزائڈنگ دا کانفرنس گیسٹ اینڈ ٹیلی گیٹس پارٹیسپینٹس آف دا ففتھ اینول پاکستان روڈ سیفٹی کانفرنس ٹو تھاؤزینڈ ٹوینٹی ون اٹس privilege to be here from Baluchistan. I was not fortunate enough to see, meet and work with Kaisar Katana Sahib, but I am proud to be a part of his legacy. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be standing and speaking here for about uh, 10 minutes. By that time, By the end of my speech, 20 people, 20 people who woke up this morning, like you and me, with a big plan, will lose their lives in the world's road. It's a WHO data. 10 minutes, 20 death. 20 death that we know full well how to prevent. Now my math may be dodgy, but the point I'm trying to make is sharp and piercing. Because I personally involved in an accident when I, I was in class four and lost some of my family member. And I'm not alone. All of us must have a relative or friend. We lost him or her on road crashes. We are all evictees. As a child of class three, I blamed it on God and fate. Today, as a public policy practitioner, I know and recognize that design of the road also played a part. Yes, sir, drivers are responsible. Most of the time, they are. But most road crashes are blamed only on driver error without considering the fact that such errors are rarely tied only to the knowledge and the skills of the individual making them. In other words, a human error is often is a direct result of a poor design. Yet the design of our road is at the mercy of government budget. It should be unpardonable. 70% of road accident in Baluchistan, national highway occurs when a one moving vehicle overtakes another slow one and collides with the vehicle coming from the opposite direction. We have eight highways in Baluchistan and none of them is dual carriageway. They don't have a dividing strip between the traffic coming from the opposite direction. Now, why design a road that encourages carelessness? And that carelessness carried horrendous consequences. Data tells a horrifying story. Roads killed 6,000 to 8,000 people in Baluchistan annually. It's a huge amount for a province of a 12 million population. It means that highways in Baluchistan are killing more people than terrorism has been killing in the entire country in its peak. One of the newsletter of this institute rightly or aptly mentioned it as a silent epidemic because this is perhaps this silence which is causing inaction on behalf of government or civil society. 
But now I'm happy to see a paradigm shift. As one of the speakers said that acknowledging that most of the road accidents are totally preventable, the UN's 2030 agenda for sustainable development has set an ambitious target for reducing road accident and death through priority actions around the road safety pillars. There are five pillars, as was mentioned, and we fall in the fifth one, which is post-crash response, under which government of Baluchistan established pre-hospital emergency care centers along these dangerous, narrow highways of the province. It was long overdue and most welcomed. This is called MERC, Medical Emergency Response Center, Risky 1122. Now, MERC is a project established as early as 19, uh, 2019 as a project to provide medical aid to the victim of highway accident. It is basically an ambulatory service, either to reach and treat accident victim or transport them to the nearest hospital promptly. We established these centers within the 100 kilometer in the highway to align our response time with international emergency response time. In a pleasant surprise, the fatality rate of highway accident has fallen down by 40% after the inception of MERC, which is far lower than the corresponding year in the last year. It has been one of the real success story, but I'm not here for a congratulatory speech. So I would like to, so I would like to invite all of you to visit any of the center if any of you happen to be in the province anytime. Now what we are doing was not possible without active support and coordination of Punjab Rescue 1122 and more specifically Dr. Rizwan who not only supported us but also guided us and he is still involved in our project how to improve it further. Punjab Rescue 1122 trained our manpower, even free of cost. We will remain grateful for Pan Rescue 1122 Punjab. I, I, I can see some of uh, its members over here. Now, yes, for overall road safety, I believe action need to come from the various sector beyond Rescue 11, because road safety is a multi-dimensional and multi-sector issue. And it's a pleasant surprise to see the host of this conference and partners are committed to tackling this challenge of national importance. And it's good to know that this is not the first gathering. This forum had a conference in 2016, 17, 18, and 2019 around the similar theme. I'm interested to learn about the best practices from the presentation from academia, uh, academicians transport planners, city planner, urban transport experts, and of course, environmentalist. How to make this road safety a sustainable one, and how we can incorporate those practices into public policy and go for further improvement. In the end, I would like to convey my sincere thanks and gratitude to all who are going to present their papers today, I look forward to take the recommendations of this conference and want to take these recommendations with me when I will fly back to Quetta tomorrow to join my highways. Thank you. Thank you.